Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to episode two of The Gold Guru. I thought I would continue with this series. It got a lot of really good comments, feedback, a lot of likes on my last episode, which I was really pleased about. And they're not too tricky to make, so I can do these every couple of days whilst I do my longer, more detailed videos and obviously the Gold Cap Challenge videos all of which take a lot more time. So today we're going to be talking about timing. So timing both of buying items and more importantly timing of selling items. Someone actually just took a selfie with me in game. That's never happened before. Interesting. Anyways to get back on track talking about buying items now what I mean by that is on the auction house, in trade chat, when is a good time to invest in an item and when is a good time to perhaps leave it. Now I often talk about this in relation to holiday events. Examples include the Elixir of Rapid Mind from the Winter's Veil vale event or the mounts you get from Lovers in the Air or the mounts you get at Easter, whatever that event's called. All of those can be really good investments if you have patience and gold to burn, basically. I'm a big believer of any gold sat in your bags like this is being wasted and you should always be investing it. For example, if I was to have invested all this gold into Elixir Rapid Mines just a few weeks after the Winter's Veil vale event or during the Winter's Veil vale event, they now sell for 100k each on my server and I would be, well, I'd have made 10 times my gold, so 30 million gold. Funny thing is, I even suggested it in a video and I did do it myself, but I sold too early. I sold when they were like triple the price instead of 10 times the price, so that was another error on my part. Timing is crucial. So for any holiday event, you want to make sure you buy the mount or the related item, the toy, whatever it is, usually towards the end of the event, the last few days. If you buy too early, there still won't be as many on the auction house and you won't get such a good price. And if you buy too late, like the very last day of the event, that's usually when everyone starts buying them up and they'll go higher in price. So I think the best time is three or four days before the holiday event ends. You want to buy up a load of the mounts, a load of the toys, a load of the rapid mines, whatever it is you're buying, and then you want to hold on to it for a long time. Looking at Undermine Journal, prices usually spike nine or ten months after the holiday event because it's been the longest time without it being so close to the next event, as in the next year, that people will just wait. But you'd be surprised, even 11 months after the event, so with only one month to go, the price is still crazily high. And it's only literally the week before the holiday event starts, generally, that the price starts to drop again. And then obviously it massively drops. So if you were to buy a load of Rapid Mind Elixirs for 10k each during the Winter's Veil vale event, and you were then to sell them in October or November, they would sell for a ridiculous amount. Like I said on my server, they're already selling for 100k. Depending on the supply and demand, they could go up to 150 by November, which would be a joke. I don't know who would pay for that. You might as well just buy a boost, but again, boosting characters is expensive on EU, so maybe people will buy it. But whatever the case, if you're waiting 10 or 11 months after the holiday event to sell, you're going to be making a lot, a lot of gold and all that investment is going to pay off. Another thing when buying items is to think about patches. Towards the end of a patch, items usually drop in price. Now, I'm talking about Obliterum, I'm talking about Herbs, I'm talking about Fell Slate, all of that kind of stuff, ores, whatever, is going to be dropping in price with people finishing the raid tiers, not buying enough potions, you know, a lot of people just leave the game and then come back for the next raid, all that kind of stuff, prices are going to be low. To give you an example, with Obliterum, they were down to around 800 gold on my server, maybe even less, 
before the 725, was it 72 or 725? I think it was 725 patch hit and you were allowed to upgrade your items even further and then Obliterum shot up to 4k gold. It's now gone back down again to around 1.8 but you know if you were selling it a couple of weeks ago you could make ridiculous gold. I know a lot of people tripled their entire gold value just by investing in Obliterum at the right time. Another example is Chaos Crystals. Before the latest patch they were under 100 gold on my server and if you take my advice from yesterday about the whole food chain analogy people don't buy as many enchants towards the end of a patch because they have all their gear and they've stopped playing whatever but when a new raid launches obviously a load new gear a load of people wanting new enchants and the very bottom of the food chain for enchants the chaos crystals they are going to go up in price and again a couple of weeks ago these were at well over 200 gold on my server they've only just started to come back down again so an investment in those would have been a really good idea as well and this bear just killed all the people in the auction house this literally happened a couple of videos ago and it's happened again but yeah, that's about it about buying. It's basically about understanding the context of the game, looking at websites such as MMO Champion so you can understand when the patches are likely to launch and the patch notes in particular are useful. Is there going to be new gear available? Is there going to be new upgrades available for Obliterum? And are you going to be able to profit from that? Perhaps more importantly, however, is the selling timing of selling is absolutely crucial prime example of this is the default augment runes which vary massively in price if you go on to undermindjournal.com type in default augment rune you can see the graph for the prices across a number of days it will also give you a little table telling you when it's generally at its highest both what time and what day in fact, Anaman Journal is super good for all things timing. I'll link it in the description below, but you want to get really used to this website and you want to be making the absolute most of all of its features because it literally tells you the average prices at every time of the day and every day of the week. So you can see the exact time when you want to be buying your augment runes on average and the exact time you want to be selling them in order to make the most profit if you pretty stack so sell in stacks of 10 stacks of 5 that will let you sell for even more as well so keep that into account but that's for another video but yeah stuff like this really important you can say the same kind of thing for gems and even enchants mostly gems but they don't vary as much in price you can still make a pretty good profit if you buy them out when they're low and sell them on raid days because yeah everyone gets the new gear they want to gem it instantly so they can carry on progressing and they'll just buy out no matter the price another awesome feature of undermindjournal.com is it tells you about your competitors so if you type in the item you sell the most of say starlight rose or say some sort of potion if you're an alchemist you can then go onto the undermine journal type in that potion and you'll see the highest sellers of that item so this will hopefully be you and all of your competitors what you can then do is click on your competitors name and it will tell you a lot about them it's actually kinda creepy under my journals watching you but again it will tell you this posting map of the times and the days where they post now this is really useful especially if you're in a really high pop realm or a really competitive market such as gems for jewel crafters enchants whatever because it will show you when your competitors are kinda free you know when they get off work when they finish dinner I don't know but it will tell you when they repost all their items 
so what you want to do is look at that and adding them as a friend also helps you can see when they come online but you want to be able to know when they're not there and you want to make the absolute most use of that for example you might see your main competitors all start reposting or posting their auctions at 7 p.m. in ready for raid time so you might want to do it at 5 or 6 so people preparing for the raids uh, who are more organized not buying it right before will then be able to buy yours and you won't get undercut instantly that's probably a bad example but you get the idea it will allow you to exploit the time when there's little competition you can probably raise the price a bit as well and you definitely won't be undercut anywhere near as much but there you go I hope that gave you guys a quick idea of the kind of things you want to be looking at in terms of timings when buying and selling items it's all pretty simple basic stuff but if you can incorporate it into your gold making routine it will likely make a big difference to your overall profits your overall rates of sales etc one last personal thing I especially in my old realm used to add a lot of people to my friends list in order to see when they were online so I could see when my competition wasn't there and I could make the most of the auction house but it actually turned out that I started messaging some of them occasionally about specific gold making tactics the kind of realm prices etc and actually became kind of good friends with a few of them and whenever they came online we just talk about gold or talk about whatever it's a bit of a weird way to start a kind of in-game friendship but it's kind of cool so I wouldn't be afraid to friend your competitors both to see when they're online but you can also get some cool tips from them about what works on your server and yeah even make friends but that's about it for today guys thanks very much for watching and until next time see ya